what's going on everyone? It's me, Alex, the Rambler Rooney, Beard Rooney. Boy, man. Here. And today we're on Crusader Kings 2, uh, the Fallout style mod. After the end, fan fork. Now I only found out about this mod on Saturday. Oh, uh, who knows when this video comes out. A stream recently, someone was like, you should play After the End. It's a Fallout style mod for Crusader Kings 2. And I was like, what are you talking about? Then I played it, and oh my giddly goo, it's amazing. The level of detail that these modders have added uh, to create this, this, this map is incredible. And the depth of, of just, just the factions, the lore, ugh. Man, it's amazing. Um, so I'm going to be playing through part of a a, a, a a game today. And we're just going to explore the game and have some fun. Please do subscribe if you would like to. Just leave a like. Let's try and get 3,000 like a loonies for the video. And, I don't know, if you've played this, leave a comment. What, 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 what do you think of it? I've been mightily impressed by what I've played so far. Um, so, of course, you could play as one of the nations um, that it recommends. Uh, there are hundreds of nations, uh, and each have their own, like, law, etc, etc. So if we go into custom game setup, you'll see that it's all in the same year, 2,666. And there's various... Boom. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is... It's, it's freaking huge. You've even got, like, the Holy Columbian Confederacy, which is the equivalent of, like, the South and the HRE. Uh, you've also got the Maritimes as their own little nation. Uh, it, it, and there's also like the remnants of the USA. So, Columbia. Yeah, this guy in his nice little hat. President Franklin, <laughs> reigning in Washington. Uh, during the stream, I, I played as the uh, Janug Talaga, T Talang, uh, which, which control a lot of the area of which I spend most of my time uh, when I'm in Canada. Uh, so it was really fun having like the battles of Chilliwack etc. Of course, if you're not from that area, you have no idea what Chilliwack is. It's just... It's a town. In terms of the law, all that's known is that an event happened uh, which resulted in this post-apocalyptic uh, North America. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do today is play as the yet further beyond. No, I'm not. Just kidding. This is the Caribbean Empire. Damn! I didn't even see that in my first playthrough. Across the Seas. That's who I'm going to play as. And Captain Francis of the Red Coat Colony. That's right. The Red Coats are back. And we're going to take... Take North America. I did play through this on the stream as well. And by the by the age... Uh, in under 10 years, my Captain Francis had lost an arm, a leg. He had to become a eunuch. Um, <laughs> and then it turned out he... he uh, him and his dad slept together. And became gay. If I can, I'll, I'll try and insert the clip somewhere where, where, it, where, where all that happens. 33. He's a one-legged, one-handed eunuch. Going to the new world was the worst decision this man ever made in his life. Ha! Huh? Captain Francis the Lame gains the trait homosexual because I'm having relations with my father. No! <laughs> I don't know if this video is going to get monetized for me saying that stuff. But here we are, as the Americas slowly recover from the event. Over distant seas, covetous empires turn their eyes to conquest, driven by pre-event tales of a new world. Great explorers and warlords have cast off in search of these fabled lands, seeking to break this unsuspecting continent to its knees. Will these ambitious few carve their names into history, forever earning prestige and glory? Or will their tales be of tragedy and failure? Well, in terms of Captain Francis in my previous game, it was definitely the latter. Alright, so, a long time ago, the one true nation underneath Her Majesty, the Queen, had a sprawling empire that spanned across every plane of reality, yet tragedy and treachery have brought forth the death of this mighty empire. However, in servitude to her holy name, a colonial expedition has been sent across the Great Atlantic to survey the barbarism that has surely sprung up in her absence. If the land is worthy of her name, perhaps more troops will follow. Mmm... May all lands praise Her Majesty and I get 2,000 points. Oh. Alright, so we can invest in a technological advance. Uh, I might actually upgrade my infantry quite a lot. 
Alright, so Captain Francis currently commands on his nice horsey there. 7,800 troops. Oh, that's... Oh. We are unmarried, so I guess we'll have to... We've only got we've only got one option, that's Elspeth. She's low-born. <laughs> yeah, we gain negative 300 prestige. But what option do we have? And I will say no pe respect people's wealth, indeed. Our character focus will be war, increase my personal combat skill. I want to groom an heir and increase my fertility by 20%. Boom. Okay, so we've landed in Boston. Uh, and now we just need to try and expand outwards, really. Let's see what we can do. We'll have events and we'll see what the rest of the world gets up to throughout this playthrough. But I'm looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this. Oh, prequel memes. Oh, look at these empires that you can form. The economy. Pfft, who cares about that? Huh, they have Yankee culture. We'll see about that. Our first target, Plymouth. You look very unhappy about this, Chief Cotton. But, unfortunately... The conquest of Plymouth must happen. Ba -ba 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 -ba! And this should be a formality here, really. Um, I will just be conquering people uh, weaker than myself. Why would I even try and have a hard war? No one likes that. Boom. Now, one thing I find with CK2 that I don't really get is the wrong holding type. Um, and Or I can create a title. Like, I can create the Duchy of Boston. Like, I like... Ooh. Ooh, 200 prestige. Yeah, sure. It's just a matter of giving uh, the Temple of New Bedford away, right? I think. You're all probably going to cringe when I'm doing this, but... <sighs> Sometimes the UI of this confuses me still. Nantucket. Coming for you now, too. So I've lost a thousand men so far, which, which isn't great. But we do have a couple of other commanders now, which should help when we're going to go to uh, war with the Nogad. Of course, this is all very early days. I could actually get myself really screwed over here, but... Ah. As a foreign colonizer, it is our rightful duty to civilize the New World savages. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I can also raise some troops as well as the... Uh... Boom. Give me all the men. Give me all the men. I like having 8,000 troops. Imagine that. Just thousands upon thousands of redcoats streaming on in. <sighs> now, they for some... I don't understand. They... <sighs> They now have 8,000 troops. So I guess I'll have to hire these fellows. Right, here we go. Come on. The Battle of Boston. I could have sworn I heard the enemy commander, High Chief Hector, barking orders. He's nowhere to be found. I shall duel the commander myself. Um, so I've got 41, and Hector has negative 30 because he's <laughs> stressed and he's old. I shall duel the commander myself. I could walk away victorious. Or I just win the duel and he dies. I will show no mercy. So that takes out their commander. And it looks like we've... Oh, yeah. It's been ages since I felt so invigorated by a battle. Every day our unit is moving as if connected by some unspoken bond. I could become humble or proud. Yep. Nope. I'm, I'm going to be... Uh, no, this is a team effort. Yeah, I'll be humble. Oh, yeah. We've absolutely wrecked them. 49 compared to him as 30. This is a bit riskier. I will duel the commander myself. I'm still going for it. Bessemer, Chancellor of Ohio. Bruh. Why? Oh no, this is going to be Alexander. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know why anyone would ever consider doing this, but it's no concern of ours. I will still show no mercy, so I'll get rid of Raymond. This is going a lot better for Captain Francis than it did in my previous run through. <laughs> Oh, I'm at war with the whole of this region. I didn't realise that. So they're all avoiding me. But if we look at this, I must have had a massive amount of victory. Yeah, look at all of these. Victory, 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 victory. You'll stand if no hope against me, sirs. Oh my god, I love my personal combat, don't I? Chief Des, we're going against a Chief Des now. How old is she? She's 28, she doesn't look it. Alright, I'll jeweler. Oh, for God's sake, Bessemer. I might hire more mercenaries. This is... <laughs> Surprisingly, it's taking quite a time to defeat everyone this mod does feel a bit more like a map painter than uh traditional ck2 but yeah we we utterly break their flanks and it's just oh so many people are captured this is how you do it create a new empire for queenie lost the siege of boston i don't know how many people we've captured by now but i've lost thousands upon thousands of troops Ugh. let's probably let's try and take the berkshires 
it's the attrition that really gets you. So I'm not sure why it happened. I think it's because I chose to colonize. Literally everyone on the eastern seaboard decided it would be an idea to kind of gang up on me. <laughs> it went badly, safe to say. I had to just white piece. Uh, I had zero troops left, all of my mercenaries left because I couldn't afford to pay them. Um, but yeah, I thought I was just going to be colonizing this little area. I should have just gone for the de jure claim rather than the colonize. That was a big mistake on my part. Don't do that if you decide to try this mod. Don't do what I did. <laughs> that just goes for pretty much every video. Oh, my n my newborn daughter might die. Well, okay. Um, oh, okay. Just kidding. She's all right. Oh dear. I have a headache. I'm developing the pox. Oh, never mind. He's all right. Nice. Okay. Oh, never mind. I've got the great pox. From the groin! Oh dear. Um, in order to try and save myself from the pox, Adept Elon buckled the last strap, securing you to the operating table. I will not lie to you, my lord. This will be excruciatingly painful, but it must be done. You tried to protest when Elon brought out the saw, but due to the calming potion he had made you drink, you slurred the words beyond incomprehension. I gained the trait one-legged. How old am I? 39. Oh dear. <laughs> I gained a... Dual training, okay. Well, I died, but Captain Alexander, he's 11, so he might he might do all right. Let's see if Alexander can do better than Francis, because Francis certainly screwed this up, didn't he? Oh dear, let's arrange betrothal. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no one. Mother? Should I marry my mother? Oh dear. I'll have to marry my sister. Oh, we're going down the Habsburg route. Habsburgs. Oh dear. Oh, no, I can't. I cannot marry close relatives. Well, that's just BS, isn't it? None of these have any spouses. They're all just going to die off. We need women. So if we look at the rest of the... What's going on? Um, Not too much at the moment. I think it'll be difficult to really see. Like The changes, if they do happen, will definitely take some time. I'm going to try and conquer Providence. Needs to be approved by my regent. What? You son of a... Oh, I really balls that up, didn't I? You really have to read every little thing on CK2, don't you? Hope we can win this. If not, it's pretty much game over for me. I'm going to restart this. Okay, let's do this again. And once <laughs> the very first thing we'll do is take down House Boomer. Okay, okay, Boomer. I can't believe how much of a failed run through that, that ended up being. Again. Naval invade Nantucket with my horsey. I'm gonna have to go for the seduction. I so far haven't had any children, and I really do need some kitty winkies. Mm, let's attack the boy king, the high chief here. Yeah. Split up their lands. What you gonna do when I come for you? Nothing, because you'll be dead. That's right, I said it. Dead. Ooh. That was close. I got hit in the face. Border dispute. Pioneer Valley. I don't think so. No. I didn't realise this. I was running out of women in my previous playthrough. I could have just presented a debutant. Now to seduce them, because clearly my wife isn't uh, very forthcoming, is she? I just divorce her. She uh, Whatever. Oh, there's lots of people I could uh, get with. Oh. Evane seems to like me. I, again, I lose prestige, but... Yeah. Yeah. She's deceitful, cynical, shy. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, she's got a grey eminence, though. Let's do it. And immediately she's preggers. Thank you. All right, so I just had a son, and he's going to die straight away, apparently. Brilliant. Raiders? Oh, mate. <gasps> she might fancy me. Make a move. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> gave her a good tumble. It's good to be the captain. I'm a naughty boy with a bad habit. Pharaoh Evane. <laughs> Why is she a pharaoh? <laughs> oh, a piece of old world technology I found. Glass bubbles, mechanical innards, flexible metal strands. Hmm. I'll just display it as art for prestige. I'm a very prestige boy. At age 21, your wife Evane Sharp vanished without a trace. What? I don't really have a good track record. <laughs> Divorce died. Crumbs. Do I get married again? Oh, Nymphadora, yes. Be my concubine. I have two legitimate children, so that's enough. 
Having many lovers is exciting and fulfilling. So much love, so much desire. I can make this. Oh. I'll break up with Kalia. Goodbye. Let's see if we can expand a bit more. Pioneer Valley, shall it be mine? Raise the legions! Or the red coats. The attrition you take during sieges is absolutely atrocious. I'm getting older again. Uh oh. How old am I? 43. Summon the council. So I think that's all that you can really do with the red coats, just to keep slowly expanding and, and, and expanding out. Uh, so I'm just going to give a, another faction a quick look while while we have this going. So I think if we look at the um, the American South, 305 years after its founding, the Holy Columbian Confederacy is one of the most powerful and stable realms east of the Mississippi, a cornerstone of chivalric culture in the Americas, and the self-proclaimed successor to Old America. Wait, hold on, was there Mickey Mouse? What? They got the worshippers of Mickey Mouse. Oh my god. Tribe of the Mouse. Oh my goodly you. Uh, sure. Why not? Why wouldn't that be a thing? My domain size is, de domain size is small. But then you have access to like 4,000 troops under your vassals. What does the mouse have? That is just bonkers. Oh my god. House Waltney. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this. So I'm making tons of money. My prestige is going up constantly. I don't know if you could lose as this emperor. In theory, could I try and conquer the mouse? Holy war for the first coast. Okay. Oh, I've got a claim on Yazoo. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think, I imagine stuff will come up as the years and years go by, or that might, or it might just be you're in a fairly stable spot, and you could probably pretty much conquer anyone around you and just keep giving your stuff away. Um, I'd be interested to see what it's like to play as the mouse, but <laughs> it's just, that's just hilarious. Uh, I definitely recommend this mod. Uh, maybe I haven't shown off all of its features, but if I've missed anything, do let me know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more of this, let me know too. But until next time, everyone, subscribe. Goodbye. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter, Sturbic, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Tad House, Cobbles Taken, Matt Zoove, Vash, Warren P. George, Dave D.Y. The Don, Valhalla Halls, Ya yeah Boy, Ryan Cock, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous for supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!